two hours and 53 minutes of focus work. That's the amount of productive, high mental energy work most of us can apparently do per day. Just three hours, and that's for so-called neurotypical people, those without a diagnosis of attention deficit disorders and the like. A poll of almost 2,000 workers in the UK suggests that the average UK office worker is only productive for this amount of time during the working day. This research from the UK's largest money-saving brand, not university academics, might tell us more about the UK's comparatively low levels of productivity based on stagnant pay since 2008, the financial crisis, or how people don't really like their jobs, therefore they don't work. So it may not be entirely valid research. This research also doesn't mean people can't work in a focused way for far longer than 2 hours 53 minutes, but it does complement with what certain performance psychologists like Sam Martin have said about placing the most cognitively demanding tasks, like writing academic prose or doing calculus, for that part of the day when you are most mentally ready to take them on. These are usually three-hour blocks between 9am and 12pm for some, or 12pm to 3pm for some others, or even in the evenings or nights. More research might be needed to confirm this, but it appears to make intuitive sense. It's beyond the scope of this video to suggest the ways of extending your propensity for focused work. In recent years, there's been a surge of people, both students and professionals, to take certain pharmaceutical drugs like amphetamines, both with and without a doctor's prescription. Amphetamines stimulate. They make the messages between your brain and your body move faster. And as a result, the body has a feeling of high physical and mental alertness, which can help most people stay at work on the job or in studying for a test. This video does not recommend these, though, nor do we condemn the reasons people might decide to use them in a largely competitive world. Of course, 8 to 10 hours sleep, regular breaks, hydration, enhanced nutrition, and understanding any possible underlying health conditions all help you be more focused, potentially. Beyond this, we might say the 2 hours 53 minute barrier finding shows us how distraction is part of how our brains digest information. Research from 2018 from the Princeton Neuroscience Institute suggests our brains are designed to switch between these active and inactive states, leading to bursts of attention rather than long extended focus blocks. Anyway, enough distraction. If you enjoyed this video, please consider making a one-off donation to our PayPal, which is in the description below.